Hi guys. <clears throat> so if you watch my videos regularly, uh, you'll probably know that uh, most of them are regarding either um, ham radio or, or computer projects. But I thought I'd show you something slightly different for a change. So this is a, a CB radio. Um, it can be configured for either the uh, UK 40 band or the uh, CPT or EU band, um, either way. Uh, bog standard from the factory, four watts out, nothing special about it. Um, this one's quite a new one, but, um, but pretty much any CB radio would do for the purposes of. Uh, something from the, uh, from the 80s would be fine. So at the moment I'm running this off a 12 volt battery. Um, if you've got a power supply, you can obviously run run off that, but um, that would defeat the object of the exercise a little bit here. So what we've got outside, after our roughly 10 meter run of coax with a join in the middle, is a uh, carbon fiber fishing pole. Now this is actually a 12 meter pole I believe when it's fully extended but uh, fully extended it wouldn't be strong enough at the, uh, at the top so I'm only using the first few sections. Mounted at the top of it there it's probably about five meters five or six meters up which has got a simple wire dipole if you can see that and obviously the current's going up to the top now that's using a splitter pull that down a bit so you can have a look So there you go, we've got coax going in there, we've got a simple uh, splitter, but um, you could easily use some terminal block and just split the coax instead. Just as effective. Okay, and we're up again. There we go, simple as that. So uh, at the base, at the moment, I'm just using uh, an old golden umbrella stand, but uh, you, know, you could use whatever you want, a couple of bungees on the side of the fence or something would be fine. So it's probably not going to be anyone on the radio at the moment. Traffic around here tends to be a little thin on the ground, but um, let me show you the tune on the antenna. So the dipole is, is cut to length um, for use as an inverted V, which means that it's cut slightly shorter by about 4% than, uh, than it would be if we were using the dipole straight across. Well, obviously, if, uh, if you want to do the same thing, you can, uh, you can adjust it to suit your purposes. Always best, of course, to cut it a little longer initially and then, uh, then make your adjustments. Now I'm using an antenna analyzer just to uh, check the tune of the antenna. If you don't have an antenna analyzer, uh, you can just cut it to length and then check it with an SWR meter, that would be fine. So there's room for improvement here, but you can see up there on what would be if we go 781, as close as we can get it, we've got an SWR of 1.6, so perfectly usable. And if I were to raise the antenna in height up a bit, that SWR would come down on the higher frequencies. So let me just show you this. So we're all up, all the way up there on UK 40 to, there you go, 991 would be I can get it, it's a bit sensitive this meter. But 991 would be channel 40. And you can see we're at about 1.4, 1.5. And if we go all the way down to channel one, 601, we're about 1.8. So further down on the EU band, it's getting a little high. So if you wanted to use it on the, uh, on the lower band, uh, two options, <laughs> either uh, bring it down in height a little bit, which will effectively lower the resonant frequency, or just um, lengthen the, uh, the dipole slightly, either way. But um, the reason that I've, ch I've cut this one in particular for UK40 
is it kind of occurred to me in the in the mm -hmm. event of a grid down situation, uh, all the cell towers were offline, um, and the only communication we had was radio. For me, not a problem because obviously I've got a radio license, so I've got some options available to me. But um, quite a few people have probably got an old CB radio lying around in their garage. Um, perhaps not something quite as new as this, but uh, the principle is the same. And to uh, to hook up a simple wire dipole. Um, is probably within most people's gift. Um, ideally, you want some 50 ohm coax, but in an emergency, if you've only got some 75 ohm coax, it's better than nothing. Obviously, it's going to push your SWR up a bit. But uh, you know, if you've got an old mag mount, um, obviously, if you've got an old mag mount, you could try sticking it on a metal gutter if you've got one, or consider sacrificing the uh, the cable from that antenna and uh, and just splicing the end of it to make a wild up and wide eye pole up maybe with some old speaker cable or something like that and that'll get you on the air uh, it's probably not going to get you that far you know um, maybe four or five miles down the road but far enough to it uh, to at least make contact with someone so i don't know could be useful um best thing to do once you've got your your little kit sorted out make sure you've got your battery charged Ideally have some way of recharging the battery with a solar panel or something would be great or maybe have a couple of spares and um, stick the whole thing in an anti-static bag ideally or uh, or if you don't have one of those uh, an old Bernie bin would um, would probably suffice um, maybe put it in a plastic container uh, just to stop any moisture getting in and uh, and pretty much forget about it for a rainy day anyway there you go Hopefully that was uh, of some use to you and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers for now guys.